I think when people assume something about me, it's not necessarily that I feel like good or bad, but more like I just feel misrepresented and like there's more to know or there's more that can be discovered beyond assumptions. I feel like it's a very typical response to seeing someone new and I feel like um, whether their stereotypes are true or false, I mean, it's, it's a typical response to meeting someone, I think. I don't really feel much of anything. I, uh, annoyed, actually. I feel annoyed, but also just kind of, it's something I've gotten very used to throughout my life, so, yeah, just kind of annoyance, but I get over it relatively quickly. Probably shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> I think I feel devalued um, in that the person that um, is placing the assumption doesn't want to take the time to get to know me. Uh, depends. If it's true, I'll usually own up to it. If, um, if it's not true, I get a little defensive and a little angry and I'll, I'll try to fight that battle and, and make a case for myself. Why do I get defensive or angry? Because it's, it's, it's not a fair... Uh, tag of mine, like like when, when somebody calls me something and it's not true, I gotta defend myself for it, so. A lot of people think I'm Mexican and I'm Puerto Rican, I don't like that. There's diversity in Hispanics and I think that's important to know. I guess they kind of make assumptions about me just like about how studious I am and what I want to do with my life and um, about my personality too, um, especially like older white patrons who kind of treat me a little bit like a pushover and not just because of my like service work position um i think because i'm so small and then i have to be like all smiley for the job they kind of take that for granted i guess um which is annoying <laughs> um but again it's kind of something that i've gotten used to whether or not that's good is not my fight to fight. Well, a lot of people when I was younger would assume that I was Mexican just based on the fact that, well, I lived in an Irish Catholic neighborhood and so the fact that I didn't, it wasn't like blonde or had red hair and would get tan, everyone just assumed that I must not be white, I guess. and. Um, so that was the main thing that people would assume about me. That I'm a good ball player, a good football player. I never played football a day in my life. I'm a G. I ain't no gangster. Sometimes I do feel uncomfortable, mainly just because I'll be like one of two black people in the room and I know they're looking to me for answers for the entire community. but also because of my experience in high school being in like programs where I was once again like the only like black person or one of few I'm used to it so I know how to handle it usually no but um, I know people that have in the past I feel very uncomfortable in most exercises and classes that I partake in um, no but I can see how um, people of certain ethnicities or certain races might feel uncomfortable in situations like that, but I personally have never really felt uncomfortable about the, the way I look or the way people perceive me in those situations. Three words were black eye, dark roots, and abused. Abused, traumatic, sad. Woman, domestic abuse, mom. Beaten, abuse, weak. Pain, can't see, purple. India, Muslim, father. Terrorist, threat, angry. Man, blue, maybe southeastern Asian. Old, wise, powerful. Religious, worldly, different languages. Beard, hat, Middle Eastern. Tattoo, lame, choices. Uh, bad choices, difficult to find a job, and regret.
creative school girl. Awful stars. Why? Millennial, pothead, free spirited. Starry girl. Hurt. So assumptions I made were that they had been abused or that they are from a different country or a different place in the, in the world um, and that they were a young person making bad choices, different choices in their life than I would have made. At least with the first person, I made the assumption that like she might have been abused versus like maybe she fell down. But like my first assumption when I see like a black guy, especially with her like facial expression, I assume like she was a victim. The first one, I don't really make any assumptions other than that she got abused. Uh, I, that was which I thought was pretty obvious. Uh, either way, she somehow got that black guy, and more than likely, I attribute that to some sort of violence. Who the individuals in the photos interacted with, um, how old they were, um, and what they did for a living. Um, well, with the first photo, just because the woman seemed, in her eyes, it just looked like she seemed like she felt helpless. Um, so my mind immediately went to the fact that she was abused, just because of the black eye. She looked. Week. A combination of both. Um, I think it's a lot to do with my interactions and my own life experiences. Um, because for the second photo, um, I like I started to write down. You said one word, but I wrote down corner store um, because in where I grew up, a lot of um, our corner store owners um, looked like that. There are things that I've noticed over time because of other situations. Everyone should be working on, um, and it's hard to unlearn for sure, but um, anytime that like I kind of find myself just kind of jumping to conclusions about someone, I have to kind of stop myself and ask myself like why though, why did I, why do I assume that about that person and then like... Uh, they're not my actual beliefs, uh, obviously not. It's um... It's just initial reactions that you think of based off of past experiences that you've seen. Yes. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, I, I think it's really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In this world that we live in, we are surrounded by stereotypes. That's just the way it is. Yes. I don't think it'll stop me from always making assumptions, but it's something I'll keep in mind and like try to make a conscious effort to not make assumptions. Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, probably. I, so I would hope that in the future I would try to not make that um, first assumption and stick with it. Hopefully, actually figure out what was going on and if she if that was true, then help. But if not, then check why I thought that.